I love you. And I'm ready to marry you wow. right here, right now. Wait, wait, wait. Wow. Some real work. Courtney knows that eventually we'll get married and live a good life. We could or at least go out when you want to. Or kind of I felt as though Courtney was harboring strong feelings of attraction for Scott. I thought that meant that she wanted to get back with him immediately. After watching this, and we're gonna go for forward into it a little bit more, I still do feel that she loves Scott, she's still attracted to Scott, and that she does wanna be in a relationship with Scott. I still believe that, but let's watch a little bit more. So, I admit I was slightly off in my last video of Scott and Courtney, but I wanna dive into the last episode of Keeping Up With The Kardashians and really look into what's going on. Because I feel like what Courtney and Scott were portraying was not exactly the whole story. Do you work out? Got going to the gym every now and again, yeah. Of course he works out. He works out every day. <laughs> wow. Have you always been, like, muscular? Yeah, I'd say since after high school. <laughs> Trevor, do you have any sunscreen over there? Look at them all posing. We have kids, which is why <laughs> we thought this would be more, like, helpful. So they're going to be here next time. OK, cool. Oh, now she tells him she has kids. He probably wonders why she he's wants here to see if with he's three adults. Okay, with her having kids. I love Scott and Chris's little powwow over there, commenting on every little move Courtney and the lifeguard make. Can we just have like a Courtney Scott wedding? That would be epic. Oh my just God. do it or propose. Scott. Yes. If you. Poor Courtney. She's in the middle of all this. She's trying to smile through it silently, and it's very clear that she is hiding her true feelings. She is hiding something that she wants to say, but she's not going to say it. Well, I love you, and I'm ready to marry you wow. right here, right now. Wait, 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 wow. some real work. Courtney knows that eventually we'll get married and live a good life. We or could at least go out when you want to. Or kind of That is such a loaded statement. And that says so much, and it means so much, especially because it's so clear how much Scott has worked on himself in the past few years. Obviously, Scott was a mess several years ago, and if you watched the show at all, you would know exactly what I mean. And so it would be understandable as to why Courtney feels the way that she does right now, and she's in this place where she doesn't know what to do, but she definitely doesn't want to move forward with Scott just yet. And again, in the last video, I felt as though Courtney was harboring strong feelings of attraction for Scott. I thought that meant that she wanted to get back with him immediately. After watching this, and we're going to go for forward into it a little bit more, I still do feel that she loves Scott, she's still attracted to Scott, and that she does want to be in a relationship with Scott. I still believe that, but let's watch a little bit more. What the hell is it? I don't know. This is a separate conversation. I'm feeling really like ambushed right now. Like, I don't know. I'm usually more prepared to talk to the family. <laughs> and so I don't even know how to react. Scott and I have had these talks before. So I just think that him and I have our own like yeah. private understanding of like what would even need to happen yes. for that to even be a consideration. And I just don't really think it's fair to like talk about it in front of the whole family as if it's everyone's business. It's not that simple is basically what she's saying. It is so understandable how Courtney was so hurt by what happened in the past with Scott. Now, it's not that simple just to say, oh, he's better now, so let's get back together. It's almost like a form of PTSD where she's so scared to get back with him and for old things to happen over again because that's what happened in the past. That lack of trust is what is important to take note of. And it's clear that yes, Courtney would like to talk about this with Scott, but get a lot more detailed about what her insecurities are, what her needs are, about this whole situation, about their dynamic, about their relationship. It's a lot to think about. Drained. 
thought you just wanted me to be a responsible businessman that was there for you and the kids and a great person and a great father. This is super awkward to be like. <laughs> It yeah. seems like he did all those things that he listed. It seems like she's really considering it. I know. <laughs> and the whole thing is, is that there's still something missing. Now, is it what Scott said where it's like, you need to do everything for me? I don't think so. I don't think Courtney's that type of person. She's a very independent woman, but there is something. And I'll bet you Scott does know, but I'll bet you Scott is not saying that thing because he probably knows that's going to kill his case here. Uh, marriage, 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 marriage. By the way, being a good person for her only makes my life happy. I'll say this. This man's been putting in work. He Scott's working really hard here. Work. He love you. He'll jump off the cliff for you. Yeah, Are you just now. saying that so he can say that back for you? <laughs> no, 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 trust me, trust me. I think Courtney hides a lot more from her family than the rest of the family does. I think Courtney's just a more private person. She doesn't let her vulnerabilities out as much because I think she gets attacked more for them. So she holds things close to her chest. She doesn't say everything that she wants to say at this big family dinner, uh, when she would rather say it in private to Scott. He's handsome, he's smart, he's funny, he's the dad of my kids. I think just the thought gives me anxiety. I feel like your yeah, guys' no, energy we is have, good. We have good energy. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly, this is what she's saying. The thought gives her anxiety. It's that fear of things happening again. That's my insecurity that I feel like that I just don't like seeing you with another guy or a guy. It hurt me when you were with somebody else. And like waking up to like looking at pictures of you and like with this guy you were dating. And you know, it was just like unhealthy and like it just made me upset and sad, you know what I mean? Yeah. You know, it's really big for Scott to get vulnerable like this. He usually doesn't. He usually hides his true feelings behind humor, behind sarcasm behind acting like he's a lord, some sort of king. Uh, so for him to do this is, it's big. And now I wake up like with no real problems. Like, you know what I mean? I'm like carefree in the sense like I don't have that, which yeah. used to take up a lot of space in my mind like all day. Yeah. But the big fear is if you start dating again, then it goes back to that, and I have to feel like a different way again. Yeah. And it's just hard. Courtney is still holding back right here. I have felt like Courtney before. When I know that I've been hurt by somebody, I feel as though that they should already know what they should do to make me feel better. And this is when I'm, you know, like again, it's when I'm feeling hurt. I get insecure. I don't want to have to tell them because I feel like that'll ruin the authenticity of them wanting to make up for it. So I know exactly how Courtney's feeling in this moment. She wants Scott to be able to say it on his own what he needs to fix. She doesn't want to have to say it again because she feels as though it won't be authentically Scott making up for it himself. It'll feel like Courtney has to hold his hand herself in order to help him fix it, which she's tried to do in the past. If Scott is truly mature, then whatever it is that Courtney wants Scott to do, he's got to do on his own without Courtney saying it over again. If he's forgotten, then that means that he doesn't really care. And that's what I believe Courtney feels at this moment. Either we figure out creating our own lives together or separately. So what Scott just proposed is an ultimatum. Now, I don't think Courtney wants this. And I think that look on her face is saying it right there. I think she wants Scott to make up for his issues that she knows he knows, but she's not gonna say it. And that's what I think she wants. And she is going to hold close to herself. She's not going to budge on showing any interest overarching interest in Scott in that way until he does so and she'll be very happy to move on otherwise. That's what being hurt is like. If you can just make 
the final decision of that you and I are never going to try to be a family again. Then I could move on wow. and I could deal with you being with other people. And I don't wow. want to give you an ultimatum and I don't want to push you and I don't want to make you anxious. But you don't say no and you leave this door open. Yeah. So I have expectations in my mind and they don't seem to ever get met. And I don't want to ever like live in limbo for the rest of my life with you. What I think Courtney is hearing right there is you want to have this ultimatum on your terms, Scott, not on my terms and your terms. I don't want to live in limbo either. Right, and I feel like you're lonely. I don't want I'm you to be. I'm not lonely. Okay. I know that this isn't, you know. Because again, if Courtney actually really did not want to be with Scott again, she would just say that. It would all be a clean ending. They could be friends that are taking care of the same children. <laughs> I mean, that would be very simple, but she's not doing that. Scott and I have had a lot of conversations over the years about this, and he knows like what would need to happen in order for this to even be a possibility, mm. and certain things haven't happened that exactly. I've been very clear about just like my answer isn't going to change unless his actions change. We don't know what that is. Again, I don't think it's the things that Scott said earlier in this episode, but she said, we've had a lot of conversations about this before. I personally think Scott is playing dumb so he doesn't have to do the things that Courtney is asking to do. He's trying to sneak his way back in, in hopes that Courtney is weak enough to just accept it because he keeps trying to beat her down with it, rather than just meeting her expectations, meeting her needs, and going through the right door, the door that Courtney actually wants him to go through. Now it's getting to a point where I'm not really sure if that's ever gonna happen again. I guess you just have different things then that you wanna do with your life. It's not different things I want to do with my life, it's just... But you don't have to make your mind up now. <laughs> just wait a couple more years. I'll get back to you. Yeah, I'm sure. In the end, we don't really know what's going to happen. They're both now in their own relationships again, and the story just has not ended between Scott and Courtney. We're gonna just have to find out. It's not gonna be on Keeping Up With The Kardashians, it's gonna be some other show or some whatever it happens to be. But if you are interested in getting into a relationship that actually is healthy and you could have that fantasy Scott and Courtney ending, <laughs> I have a new online dating course called Textual Healing. That's right, a textual healing, where I walk you through exactly how to set up an online dating profile, message a person, get on a date with them, and then lead it into a real relationship. It is for people that are just new to dating and also people that are a little more experienced. It's more of a choose your own adventure type of course where wherever you're at in your relationship and dating life, there's something for you to learn. This is not superficial skills that I teach. If you watched my videos before, you know that I like going in depth and really getting into social skills and flirting and social strategy on how to have the best relationships that you can in your life. The link for that is in the description.